I don't like Chainsaw Man. I have no intention of reading Chainsaw Man. I have no interest in watching the incel Denji interact with the basic bitch Asa, right? I would rather read anything else. Part two was a complete and abject failure. And the way it looks now is that the vast majority of the fan base really doesn't want to admit it right, that Chainsaw Man fell off, because I saw a lot of people online, like, disputing this, I've seen people, like, try and say that, like, no, it's, it's building up to something spectacular, just, just wait and see, like, I, I've seen people, like, try and say that this, this series is still good, and that it's building up to something, and yet, it really isn't true at all, right? It has be- it was apparent to me, even before part one ended, that Chainsaw Man had completely dropped the plot, that the creators didn't know how to progress the story in any meaningful way, right? They couldn't evolve the Denji character. He is, like most millennials, completely unwilling to grow up and and develop as a character, right? Develop as a person, right? And instead of, like, making an interesting story about it, it feels like it's just regressed. Like, it feels regressive. It feels as if uh, the story just doesn't know where where it wants to go. It's been spinning its wheels forever. It completely botched, like, uh, the conclusion of one of the, the primary antagonist, Makama, right? Like, it botched like, everything it had going for it in part one. So why exactly would I ever be interested in seeing where it goes in part two? To me, Chainsaw Man kind of represents, like, the the absolute worst parts of the anime community, right? This is a series that's tailor-made to the most insane otaku, just, uh, like, incel audience imaginable, right? Like, this series really pandered to people who only care about having sex, right? But instead of, like, uh, something like No More Heroes, where it kind of emphasizes that uh, having sex wouldn't be fulfilling or uh, doesn't go anywhere or uh, just uh, the character develops in other ways, right? You know, instead of just acknowledging the the simple reality that having sex won't fix all of your problems like chainsaw man seems to be in this like in this rut where it's just unwilling to admit that the uh the worldview of the characters makes absolutely no sense and hasn't for a very long time right it wants to be this very dark bleak setting that uh denji just just exists in right but the the world just doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, right? Uh, things are just thrown at you willy nilly. None of it comes together very well, especially later on. And and now, like in part two, now that like ninety percent, ninety five percent of the characters that were established in part one are dead, the story fundamentally has nowhere to go. And no. I don't care about the new characters that have been introduced. The chicken thing was stupid, right? Uh, you know, Asa was stupid, right? Like, uh, the conflict between, like, uh, her and the war devil are, are, is stupid, right? It, it, it's just like, why would I care about anything that's going on? And the answer in the minds of the fanboys is because... It's Chainsaw Man. It's the deepest, most complex manga to ever exist. Maybe that was true, like, in the first several volumes, okay? Like, the first six volumes or so. But this has been a very notable, steady decline since then. And I do think more and more people are starting to catch on to the fact that the series is not living up to its reputation. The series right now is coasting primarily off of its initial critical hype and and uh, fanboy appeal, right? 
it doesn't have anything substantial to back it up at this stage. To a certain extent, I think uh, the better parts of Act 1 will will stand the test of time as being like a legitimately good, interesting, uh, subversive shonen story. But it's like Bleach, right? When you have, like, Naruto, like, when you have a lot of really good elements to a story that's bogged down by a lot of negative aspects, it is going to, it is going to kill it long term, right? Uh, I'm sure Bleach was falling off, like, long before uh, people started getting tired of it, right? You know, like, I'm always seeing people, like, argue over, like, when exactly Bleach fell off. But, uh, and I think with now, now with Chainsaw Man, it's safe to say that, like, it's already happened. Right, I've seen no improvements um, when I was when I was reading through part two. Like I was expecting some radical change of direction. Right, I wanted a radical change of direction. I wanted new characters, and I got that. But what I got was unbelievably disappointing, and just doesn't and just doesn't resonate with me at all. Right, like uh, Fujimoto fell off. Right, he hasn't been able to develop the characters in any any interesting way. He's just doing the same thing over and over and over again, and it was boring before he even started. To be a complete on uh, to be completely honest with you, like Chainsaw Man really should have ended at the end of part one if he wanted to do something like this. Is is uh my opinion of this like this was never a good idea. Uh, nobody likes it. The issue now is just the majority of the audience just uh, doesn't want to admit that that Chainsaw Man isn't good anymore, right? That the the series has gone downhill. Nobody wants to acknowledge it, but it is true. And and so with that being said, when is it going to end? Like when are people going to acknowledge that the series isn't interesting anymore? that it, it doesn't do a good job with its characters, that the drama is hackneyed and forced, that uh, Asa specifically is not an interesting character, right? Like, when are people going to acknowledge that that part two is a complete and total flop, right? It's going to be a while yet, I feel. Like, uh, the anime didn't do very well. We have that for a confirmation. Like, it feels like right now Chainsaw Man is completely being carried by its established fanboys, but – and those people – it's going to take a lot to get those people to abandon the franchise. So I don't think we've heard the last of Chainsaw Man. I think this thing is going to continue and just embarrass itself uh, for years and years. Like, this, this thing just seems like it's going to continue – until Shonen Jump finally, finally shows us mercy and pulls the plug.